But there is no house. Watoto kuranda randa. Waendi shure. So tunona miaka ingine kumi jau tutakuwa na warifu mingi wakora watakuwa wengi tu. Oh ni chucha. Ni matumisi. Yari ya juu ya miadarati. Hata bagi inauzwa na wanakula hile pe. Changa moto sana. Ya wamijena kumuza kwa miadarati. Ni hile kukosa kazi. Chine ni hile. Kampi yabo. Moto hikuwa kwa kaki. Kampi yetu. Kampi ya moto loosely translates to a camp of fire, a fire that has burned the elderly and is currently burning the youth and the children, putting their future at risk. This fire takes various forms, including drug and substance abuse, child neglect, school truancy, leadership neglect, self-centeredness, and the lack of cooperation among those who are concerned. But first, where did the name Kampia Moto originate? People have varied thoughts of the origin of the name Kampia Moto. Some people say the name Kampia Moto originated from the white men who built houses for their railway laborers. Kana busugine na ito atuanga hapa. Alikuwa amejegea wati yake afanyikazi manyumba hapo. The houses were made of makuti. Na manyuba ya wafanyikazi wa leri. Ilikuwe meje kwa na makuti. Where they made local brews for celebration. Sometimes they would make the local brews. At one time, fire broke out. And workers from far away could see smoke. And where there is smoke, there is fire. Nyoba ikashomeka. Ikaza kutakitake. Ilikuwa camp. Sinona hizi wati camp. It was a camp here. Wala walikuwa pure chini wakawana moshi. They asked among themselves, where is this smoke coming from? Wakaanza kuuliza, ile moshi hiko hapi, tunaona. Ngide ya kasema, moto kwa kabi. Moto kwa kabi yao, sasa hapa. Manjumba yao likuwa inashome? Inashomeka. That is where the name came. Kampi ya mo? Moto hiko kwa kabi? And that is where the name Kampiyamoto originated. Some also think the name is as a result of the hot furious sun in the area. Na ikafanya watu wakampatie jina ambaye naitua kambia moto. Being a residential area with a cosmopolitan population. Najua pati kwa kabila mingi. Social challenges are inevitable. With the fundamental challenge being alcohol, illicit brews, drugs and substance abuse. Mostly ni bombe. Akikaa pale kwa pombe atatega hapo hivyo na hizi miadarati zingine. Kuta bangi na kukula hii naitwa Kuber wanakula gani gani kila kitu iko hapa. Kasarani in Kampia Moto is the epicenter of these illicit brews. In particular Changa. Changa imeingia. The wave of Changa is taking over the youth and the old alike. Pombe imeharibu mpaka hii wasichana. Mpaka watoto kama hii. Many unconcerned parents would opt to consume this changa at the expense of parental responsibility. They, don't, they no longer think, think of their kids, you see? The little income some earn from casual jobs is used in the consumption of changa. Instead of catering for basic needs like food and education. Awezi nunua uniform, ba ukipe kakule, mwalimu ura asiki for the uniform. Yes, the education is free. Where is uniform? Hakuna, wanarudi mbali. Where is food? Hakuna. Some parents would even go to the extent of using their children to beg passers by for money to be able to buy changa. Kama misi na kazi, 
lazima nitume mtoto wangu atoke nje aende ajishughulishe na vitu vingine ambavyo wazistahili mzazi yuko pale anakuja na chuku not far away from kasarani is checkpoint commonly known as the cbd this is the best place to find our youth apparently the cbd has a number of bases base 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 these are spots where there are cafes and shops where muguka marijuana are sold day and night now everybody started chewing boys were the first girls have joined in everybody is there the number of bars and pubs in Kampia Moto outweigh the number of churches. If you care to stroll around in the morning hours, you will see individuals drunk, sleeping on verandas of these bars, and some sadly in trenches. Other than child negligence, the effects of drugs, illicit brews, and substance abuse include. <laughs> Isi dawa za kulevwa wanafanya nini? Unapata ya kwamba wanaleta shule. Hata wale wa chini. Increase in the number of school dropouts. Call the police. Then immobilize those children back to school. Go there for Tuesday to get back and they even the parents not want. They are not in for that. Some of them might have that interest of learning, but uh, due to lack of that parental care. Yeah, they find it a little bit challenging or tricky to go to school. Yeah, they lack uniforms. Yeah, all those other things they like. They like the basic commodities. They are not getting those basic commodities, you see. Yeah, that's why they can't go to school. So they are not educated. Cheap commercial sex. And single motherhood. single mother. single mother. single mother. single mother. single mother. In the event of drunkenness, women fall prey and become pregnant to men who are not planning on marrying they are not marrying, they are not being married. But the children are just around here. So she will to twig to Nigeria. In some occasions, where a woman gets a man to her house, some take advantage of their daughters. Nanjo unawana watoto wetu wana wana kuwa rape. Maybe ume pedata ule mwana ume kwa kwa just because uh, for du kuni ni kulipa room ule mwana ume anarudi anagiukia mtoto wako the next day. But who creates the demand for these drugs? Campus no na changi mta na grow in ba kaju au ndo kona pesa na pesa zao au na kujo kutumia kambi ya moto sasa ona value kama ni ya moke na ina kuwa mingi kama ni store na na miadharati kama za bangi na endelea kongazeka jisa au ndo ni kama ndo na spawn. Eh, ju au ndo wengi ni wana. What is the role of the local authority in Kampia Moto? The serikali hata ni yakosumbua. Hakuna kazi wanafanya huko. Hata tuoni kazi hii patrol base hapa hivi Kampia Moto. Is it true that the police are not aware of the sale of illicit brews and marijuana in the area? Sasa unajua ni bila wanakula ushuru hata ukienda kutetea mbele wanakula ushuru. Hakuna kitu wewe tafaa. Kwa sababu inapitia kwa mkono wao hiyo kitu yote. Sasa utaenda utajisaidia aje? Hakuna. Wewe ukienda ukanambiwa toka. Toka wewe. Kwa sababu hapo ni pale wanakulia pesa. Hata bagi inauzwa na wanakula ile pesa. Sasa utajisaidia aje? Hakuna. Bado kuna matoko wewe. Gavana inachangia. Kwa jua kusema kwa sababu kitu kidogo. Yeye ni nini takata katika. But ule ule wanauza ako na guards, ako na purpose ni jeuza na jua ni kuna mayamelikawa nyu. In our efforts to reach out to the relevant authorities, 
they were unavailable to respond to the claims. Needless to say, alcohol, illicit brews, drugs and substance abuse. Should you decide to walk around the streets of Kampiyamoto, you will see children begging in streets, collecting charcoal, scrap metal and plastic bottles. Some are injured, some are wearing dirty clothes. Even in the cold weather, children are seen loitering around without a sweater or a hoodie. If you didn't know better, you might think they do not have parents. But the truth is, the parents are unbothered. Child neglect will neglect them. Yeah, they'll go their way to look for ways of drinking alcohol. Yeah, this has made children to loiter around and has built a culture of begging in them for food and for money. This is a tactic for survival. Now they survive by day. They start that from morning till 10 p.m. Just begging, walking here and there. Yeah, that's their work. You either beg or die. It is sad to note that at times it is the parents who direct these kids to go and beg as an ultimatum. But in all this, what is the role of a parent? In a style in Zazi, jambazi <laughs> The existence of minimum or no effort by the government, the community and the stakeholders has led to widespread hopelessness by all community members. The hopeless people are the youth. However, a small minority thinks otherwise. There is some hope in the horizon. In the same line of essence, among the minority of thinkers, there are those who are actually trying to make a difference. A good example is the Watoto Kitchen and the Transnations Church, who try to provide meals for these children once in a while when they can. Due to inadequate funds, however, resources and support from other community members and the government, it makes their efforts quite unsustainable in the long run. Wa Kenya ni ngumu sana mtu kupotole ata gorogoro moja maili. Superficial Hope Community Based Organization is among the few change makers who aim at finding obvious ways to sort out these challenges. Jim Haman Ovino, the chairperson of Superficial Hope, is determined to sing the change in the community. So we do believe as, a, as an organization, a Superficial Hope, if we keep pushing for this thing, we are going to eventually get help for this community. They believe something needs to be done, however little, because change will then be realized. There might not be a future if nothing is done. There is need for cooperation by the community members, churches, government and other stakeholders in bringing the much needed change to Kampia Moto. It's simply cooperation between the government, the law enforcement agencies, and uh, the members of the community. For how long will we watch our children 
drop out of school because of lack of food? For how long will we see our youth sinking into drugs and substance abuse? After what extent are we willing to shut these spots that sell illicit brews and marijuana? Can the road in Campia Moto be dealt with while we still can? This is a call for action to the community members, to the government, to the different stakeholders and well-wishers all around the globe to join efforts to save Campi Yamoto.